Hi, my name is Sushant Kumar. I'd like to share a secret tool that I discovered six years back that has helped me with uninterrupted growth. Almost six years back, my life was going good. I had a great job, um, a loving family, and I decided to take on an entrepreneurial role and start my own venture. Till then, I had experienced a life, a life which was in control. I knew if I, if I studied well, I would get good grades. I knew if I worked well in my job, I would do well, I would get promoted. However, when I started, when I took upon an entrepreneurial journey, I realized that things are not always in your control. And that was when I experienced a string of failures. I was under a mountain of debt. My health was not in great shape and my relationships around me, uh, around me with my friends and family were also not going pretty well. It was perhaps one of the lowest points in my career. That was also the time when I stumbled upon yoga. I started yoga as a way to lead a physically healthier life and, and it helped me. It helped me uh, become physically more fit, more agile, more flexible. However, after, after a couple of months of practicing yoga, I noticed, I, I noticed something different in me. What I noticed was I was feeling more confident. I was better able to handle the challenges that I was facing. I was able to better deal with the challenges. And hence, I decided to research more and read more about what is yoga about. Particularly because there are numerous marketed schools of thought within yoga. Yoga has been mentioned in the Vedas. But the contemporary tradition of yoga has its roots in the foundational text of Yoga Sutras by Patanjali. The Yoga Sutras of Patanjali begin with Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirodha, which fundamentally translates into the goal of yoga is to still the changing states of the mind. I realized that after continuous practice of yoga, I was calmer, I was able to find more clarity and yoga when practiced with pranayam and meditation, which is dhyana, helps you still the noise in your head. Where it helped me personally was, it helped me better discover who I was. It helped me better identify what I was and what my purpose was. And this helped me better take on the challenges that I was facing. Yoga, one of the bigger misconceptions of yoga, which even I had before that was when people think of yoga, they think of yoga asanas and yoga as a means to be physically fit. Yoga definitely helps with physical fitness, but there is much more to yoga than physical fitness. Yoga asanas are just a part they are an essential part of the entire practice of yoga. If you truly want to experience the benefits of yoga, which I did, it is important to make sure that we practice pranayam, we practice dhyana, which is meditation. It helped me personally still my mind and that is the ultimate goal of yoga as has been mentioned in the scripture. I'd like to conclude this talk by saying, Atha Yoga Anushasanam. Begin yoga today. We are living in a day and age where good mental health is extremely important. The World Health Organization defines good mental health not as an absence of a mental disorder, not as an absence of anxiety. But good mental health is a state where you can deal with the normal stresses of life and you can realize your true potential. This is where yoga becomes a very important tool for you. Over the last six years, it has helped me better deal with the challenges in my life and it has helped me better discover who I am and it can help you too. Thank you.